Good morning. We're so glad you're here. The daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back. Check it out. Two sun rails. Back to back. That's never happened. Um, day one of getting into my new routine. So far, so good. Got up. Um, 6.45. Ran some of my early morning work reports. Sent some emails. Laced up for the first time in a couple days. Now I'm hitting some miles. But I gotta get back to shower and shave and get a pot of coffee going uh, before the day really, really begins. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope that you're feeling good, that you're happy, and I just want the best for you, you know? It's a nice cool morning before it gets hot later today. Since I have the time now, a few minutes before I gotta get jump on my first call. We're relaxing in the cool breeze. Friends, today is the day that I finally finished paying off my endometriosis surgery from 2018. To say we are excited is an understatement. I feel good. I got yeah. up, did my run. Mm -hmm. Eve lost her mind this morning, and so I did not get to do all of my stretching and whatnot because Peter had calls and I had to contain her. She just really wanted to be contain my Contain is a loose word because at one point <laughs> she did jump up, run behind me while I was on. I was already on camera <laughs> when that happened. And then she tried jumping from the chair I was sitting in onto the bed because my oatmeal was there and I tried catching her but then she like <laughs> fell out of my hand so she kind of just like jumped into the Flopped. air froze and then fell to the ground in my defense I thought Peter was chasing her I didn't realize he had closed the door and I think that's what set her off um so I thought I was like letting her in to get you but um this feels good it feels even better that we're in the place done. we're at now but we could not have gotten here without that surgery Right, so. and we couldn't, we're so grateful that even though it took two years to pay this surgery off, um, that's been the biggest like single expense of our infertility, and we've done one round of IVF and three three transfers. Right, yeah. So like it's incredible that we got so lucky with the study and our insurances. Also like a little tidbit of bill advice for medical, like I, I mean I have more experience with knowing about it with my dad going through cancer, but like we set up this medical services extended pay like as long as you're paying a dollar to your medical bills like you're good and so we have been paying it off slowly yeah. but surely we are here we finished yes so now we're gonna go get earl sandwich tomorrow <laughs> the box just came did we talk about this did we talk about this we did not talk about this yesterday See, I'm awaiting my boss to call for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Oh, my newest bit of equipment, two world marathon challenge and beyond. The Forerunner 645 Music by Garmin. Was that deal only yesterday? I think it's still going on. Um, it's a $450 watch that we got for $240 with shipping. Yeah. So a really good deal and something needed. This is a good Swiss Army knife, but this is made for endurance sports. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Look at this. This is a cool charging, like clips onto it. I'm gonna put it on and play with it a little bit while I wait for my next meeting. But we'll talk more about this watch later. Here we go. English. Yes. Oh, I forgot it's not touch screen. But I'll explain later. I actually like that aspect that it's not touch screen. Download Garmin Connect Mobile to complete setup. Guess what, everybody? Did that already. Thinking I'm a hot shot now. Guess what? What? Guess what is opening tomorrow with the rest of many locations at Disney Springs. Please tell me it's the truth. What is it? Sugar boo. Yes. <laughs> We're going right at five. 
Signing off, going. I'm still so hesitant. Well, I know what you're worried about, but you gotta remember the thing's gonna be open for seven or eight hours at that point. We went to City Walk three hours after it opened. We're going. I just want to be safe. We will, we will. But it's gonna be safe. Oh my god, Chicka Boo. Here she is in her comfy jumpsuit. Here she is in her comfy jumpsuit. Spicing up leftovers, making a roux. Getting this pasta ready, it's cold. Ew. <laughs> the sauce is gonna be for the pasta. Nice. This looks and smells divine. Already? Already. Do you wanna make the little avocado mash we talked about? He thinks he's doing it, making a mini meatball sub. Yeah, but look at this spread. We got fresh guac. Zested up delicious. Pasta. Zested up delicious. Meatballs and more gumbo. That was five times more spicy this time around than last time. So you admit it. It was, but it was delicious. It was spicy last time, it was spicy this time. It was just more spicy this time. Yeah, sometimes when spices sit and settle too, they kind of like. They do that. Tell me to move. Mm -hmm. Audience interaction. We're doing a double feature. We're gonna. They added um, Maleficent 2, Return of the of the the Mal, onto Disney Plus. So we're gonna watch that. Oh no, we're watching Black Panther first. Yep. Watching Black Panther first. It's our next Marvel movie, and then we're gonna watch Maleficent: The Mistress of Evil after that. So gotcha. I might be going back to my office in two weeks. It's not determined yet, but we might be. So gotta so soak are up. You just like Reflecting on that. Uh-huh. Trying to soak up like the last bit of potentially less bit of work in the moment. But it's all it's all so up in the air still. But at least the conversations are beginning. Post Black Panther reflection. I slept through that entire movie in the movie theater because I only remember the last fight scene. So maybe not the entire movie, but most of it that was like the first time and that's definitely like a top five of all the movies if i'd really have to like figure out what would be the favorite but it's definitely definitely up there look at those toes this girl she does not like movie night my name's peter i have a new watch I love it so much. I'm trying to learn it still. Yeah. Peter's got to go to Walgreens to pick up some necessities. Just a quick that, errand. That only go, only get from Walgreens, so. He'll be our B. Hmm. Hmm. What, what are you thinking about? Hmm. Sarah was just hoping that there was a fountain drink somewhere in the world. Hmm. 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 Maybe with a sour punch straw from the store if they have them there? Hmm. 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 We've been Anything doing this for like else? 10 minutes. <laughs> Anything else good from Walgreens? Hmm. 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 Something spooky for the Maleficent movie? Hmm. I wish they had pitch black fountain. Oh. <gasps> uh. Hmm. Is it Halloween yet? No. But James will be here when it's Halloween time. Hmm. hmm. Before we watch Maleficent, oh yeah. Getting in a Disney spirit. Oh yeah. Don't you love when you go to a store and you randomly find an amazing 12 pack deal? Especially when your wife and best friend is all about the Pepsi? Yes. Thank you, Walgreens. Bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. I don't know why this is my thing these days. I don't know, but you're gonna love him and you're gonna enjoy him. You wanna know a cool fact? What? My dad was friends with the designer who made this design. And we would go to his studio. His name's Ken Johnson, and he had like a whole stand full of them all the time. Unlimited? I don't know if they were unlimited, but he had them all the time. 
so cool. They're not for puppies. She says, I don't care, I want them. Maleficent time? Eve kind of looks like Maleficent. All right, so another thing I had to get at Walgreens that are you making bread? Uh-huh. Sarah's gonna make some beer bread. So we need a beer for that. And Sarah only needed one beer, 12 ounces, but I got this six pack of Goose Island IPA. Look at these Chicago stars on this. There it is, Chicago stars, baby. That's my tattoo. I feel like it's gonna happen in the near future. I think it's time to start Maleficent, Mistress of Happiness. Mistress of the Three don't bring that up. Um, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil? That was a really good movie. That was way better than the first one and nowhere near as, I thought it was going to be like two stars. That was like infinity yeah, stars. Yeah, I, I feel like I might have slept through the first one. Oh, the first one, like, I thought you meant this one. No, not at all, I didn't sleep, but like, <laughs> I don't remember a ton. Yeah. Um, I remember but it. that was very good. There were so many moments where I was like, "What's gonna happen?" That was awesome. Oh my God. It ended perfectly, yeah. except for the massacre that happened in the middle of it. Yeah. But we just kind of like everybody was just kind of like, "Hey, it's over." <laughs> yeah. But I just love seeing those characters because it makes me think of Disney World. Yeah. All right. Today's May nineteenth, Tuesday. Ooh, over here. Oh, it's a short one. It's by Howard Thurman. Follow the grain in your own wood. I like it. Like this grain. All right, so I know I didn't go over the Garmin 645 music that I got. Um, I set it up, I think, minus like some of the certain things like Garmin Pay and stuff like that. But I set up the app and everything, set it up to connect to my Strava and whatnot. Um, but I'm, I'm going to talk about it more tomorrow and like performance wise because I went on a run this morning with my Apple Watch. This one, my Apple Watch Series 2. Um, before I had, before the Garmin arrived. So tomorrow morning will be my first run with the Garmin. And fingers crossed, I think it's going to go well. I've heard great reviews. My buddy Jared raves about Garmin. He uses them. Um, and I've just heard a lot of other people using them and like read reviews and watched reviews and people's experiences. I feel like it's a, like the Apple Watch, I was explaining it to somebody and it's like the Apple Watch is a, I was explaining it to Grant. I was talking to Grant about it and I was like, the Apple Watch is like a Swiss army knife. It does a lot of things really good. Whereas the Garmin does a few things, a fewer amount of things, but really great. And those fewer amount of things are the things that are most important to me, like running and working out and tracking GPS and everything. So um, in some senses, it doesn't feel as high tech, but in other senses, it does feel as high tech. Um, but I've only had it on for like 12 hours, not even so, and I haven't even gone on a run. So um, more to come tomorrow and in the future about that, but I'm really excited about it. Got it for a really good deal on Amazon. And I think it's gonna be a really important piece of my life over the next two plus years, but I'm excited. For any of my Garmin users, what is this stress indicator? Because why does it seem so high? Is that high? I don't know, but can someone please explain to me what that is? Sarah and I recap at the end of the day, did we film enough during our day to create <laughs> a substantial vlog for you guys? It was like a nice, relaxing evening with good expectations. Work was weird. Um, but just busy. Um, and first I kinda, day. I had to like recoup after having a day. Like yesterday was weird because of my birthday. It was a good day though, right? Yeah. Like, it was good weird? It was really good weird, but I <laughs> didn't work. Like besides the vlog. Yeah. So like today I like played catch up on all that stuff. Today was my first day like getting back into a morning routine. And yeah. I think it helped a lot. Yeah. My like mental state. So good. fingers crossed tomorrow day two goes just as well. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Plus, Disney Springs opens tomorrow. Oh, my word. And Fingers crossed. I'm 17 weeks tomorrow. And you're 17 weeks tomorrow, which is incredible. Yeah. I just really hope everything, hope everybody's nice and considerate tomorrow at Springs. Yes. Because I don't want Springs to open up just for it to open. Mm -hmm. I want it to open because it's safe, too, and people are being good, like they were at City Walk when we were there. Yeah. And there are longer hours, so hopefully, like... When It'll just be more spread out. Because yeah. it's not like people are in town to visit, it's no. it's just locals. It's gonna be locals. Yeah. It's gonna be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>